Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yesterday there was a magnitude 4.2 earthquake uh, there near the summit of Mauna Loa Volcano. USGS said it was a magnitude 4.1. 171 people reported feeling this earthquake. And as you can see here on the felt reports, it was felt across the entire island of Hawaii. It was almost three miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured in, at sea level. And the earthquakes there in this location have slowly been rising, I guess you can say. Here you can see there was a 1.7 today, minus 3.4 kilometers in depth. That would be 3.4 kilometers above sea level. So that would be 2.1 miles above sea level. And there was a few other ones like here. Okay, a 1.3 uh, minus 3.0 kilometers. So that would be 1.8 miles above sea level. The magma is slowly coming up. Here's another one, a 1.2, 3.3 three uh, kilometers above sea level the uh, magma is slowly coming up and i've covered this in the past about the earthquakes there in hawaii how after um, earthquakes often there at kilauea uh, the magma will start to rise up at mauna loa many of you that live there know that that is probably more than likely the area of the next eruption but earthquakes along the uh, east rift zone there's been uh, many of them that have been also shallow. Here's another one uh, from Mauna Loa. Uh, minus 1.4 kilometer, 1.7 kilometer, 1.3 kilometer, all above sea level. What happens here is the magma comes up from Palahala and slowly works its way up to Mauna Loa. The felt reports on EMSE, here you can see that it was registered as a 4.2, not a 4.1 um, about 14 miles from where the earthquake occurred was a report saying that they didn't feel much but heard the rumbling another one which was 29 kilometers from where the earthquake occurred said that it was shaking a little and that would be about 18 miles another report says uh, Felton Kona heard the frame of the house move um, was sleeping at the time of my bed woke me up and I'm not going to try and pronounce it I'm bad at pronouncing some of these names another one which was 67 kilometers northeast from where the earthquake occurred said felt here vibration grew in intensity for a few seconds so that would be about 41 and a half 41.6 miles from where the earthquake occurred USGS doesn't give us the reports of what people saw or experienced or felt so using google earth i went through some of the uh, earthquakes and marked out um, most of the ones that i could find that were um, very shallow above sea level um, there was also a magnitude 3.3 um, that was today it was minus 1.1 kilometers in depth we got magma rising up and I'm going to show you the uh, tilt meters. Ground deformation for Mauna Loa Summit. This is for the past week. Um, I'm going to come down here because it really is kind of confusing. Let me bring this over. And you can see that the ground has been rising with all the little circles, which are earthquakes. Going back to January of this year, March, May, July, September, and then November. And then down here, yeah, this is for the past five years, steady uplift. There in Hawaii, the East Rift Zone started its eruption two years ago in 2018. And here you can see how we got a steady increase. Seemed to grow. Increase in July of 2017 had another jump in January of 2018. And then July of 2019, and it's been steadily going up. All right, electronic tilt for Kilauea Summit and the East Rift Zone for the past week. Yeah, they've been showing an increase. More likely, they're going to have another eruption of magma coming up out of the ground. 
here you can see this year um, November uh, December all the way up until today the fifth look at the jump like it here from November 30th to December 3rd here we have a current image of the East Rift Zone this is that uh, power plant that gathers the uh, hot steam uh, to create energy that was nearly overrun by the lava back in 2018 yeah you can see the steam that's still coming up let me pull this over for you yeah still very hot during that eruption two years ago much of the plant life died off because of the gases and they're still recovering you can see the trees here that died off during that eruption because of the bog um, the smog of the gases the magnitude 3.3 that happened today that was minus 1.1 kilometers in depth and so far there's been eight reports on usgs um, that felt this earthquake now we got two areas down here where there is a potential for another very large slump and then uh, northwest but when i click on the map um yeah nothing shows up yeah so here you can see it doesn't show any of the individual locations that were reported now we know that they like to downgrade earthquakes here was a 1.8 there at Mauna Loa one person that they allowed to report feeling it and then on the felt report yeah along this area of a possible slump altogether there's been 443 earthquakes in the last week on the big island uh, just recently they posted um, a 1.8 3.4 kilometers in depth actually minus 3.4 kilometers in depth and again that would be above sea level yeah there at Mauna Loa so I want to go back to Google Earth and show these earthquakes okay there we got Mauna Loa um, you can see here areas of past lava flows I got marked out in red uh, fissures fault lines and then I'm going to go back over here because this is the Mauna Loa slump. This was an area that collapsed and it was a really big area that collapsed a long time ago. Um, basically from this red line over towards the west that all slid into the ocean. Yeah, And you can see here um, yeah, the uh, lines on the seafloor of that massive landslide you know everyone talks about um you know a slump over here on the southern edge of hawaii um yeah that's just as dangerous that it would be this area here which is in a lighter color that there's a threat but there's also this threat of this entire side of the big island collapsing and it has happened before and then what I noticed with these recent earthquakes, see what side of the fault line that all these earthquakes are occurring on? Yeah, on the western side of that fault zone. Something to think about. You want to know more about these areas of potential landslides? Um, just do a Google search. Here you can see one from USGS, uh, um, different things that are posted here under Google. There's a link to Volcano Cafe um, about the Mauna Loa slump, how it is acting as a block for the slump for Kilauea. And I've talked about that before, too. I'll give you a link to all these documents, and you can read up if you want to take the time yourself. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, Lava Flows from 1949 we got here. But anyways, that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, 3.3 today, and... Yesterday there was a magnitude 4.2. Um, any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.